Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and this is going to be episode 2 of the Road to One Bill Slayer tab. So I haven't given up yet after the first episode. I'm sure a lot of people thought that after the first episode I'd just say screw it, like I have with a couple series before in the past, but uh, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, I'm not going to have any screenshots for you guys. I know in the first episode I said every time I get a cool drop, I will screenshot it, or if I'm feeling really motivated, I might even video record it and then just put in a clip of that. But that's not going to happen. And the reason why isn't because I'm lazy. It's just because I simply have not gotten any drops from uh, any of my tasks, such as, I don't know, killing Zamorak for Greater Demons or, you know, killing Dagonoth Kings for a Dagonoth task, which I haven't had in a long time, which really sucks. But anyway, yes, I have not gotten any drops for quite a long time. And I didn't really feel like putting in clips of me getting, like, a rune chain body or something boring like that, but the reason why I'm making this uh, episode 2, even though I haven't gotten any drops, is my Slayer tab itself has changed quite a bit. Yes, it has gone up in value um, by several mil, and it also, I just, the Slayer tab looks much cooler. I organized it, I put like an hour of time into organizing the Slayer tab, making it look all pretty, like I did um, quite a while back, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys that, so this is just kind of the intro, this is my Slayer task at the moment, and I wanted to show you one other thing. If we go to my stats here, I have 300k bonus Slayer XP, um, and all that just came off getting these like relics of Amoskut or something, whatever they're called, I don't really remember, don't really care all that much, off of the Squeal of Fortune, and then you just like click Curse on the Relic, and you get, I think, 80k bonus Slayer XP per Relic, and I got four of them, so that was kind of cool. I also got four Prayer Relics, so I have 330k bonus Prayer XP. I have no idea how I'm going to use that, because the only time I ever train Prayer is when I use my Bone Crusher through Slayer. Um, and yes, I did get to 15.7 uh, mil Prayer XP using my Bone Crusher through Slayer, and also using Infernal Urns, because up until recently I always, always used Infernal Urns, and they're like almost 2k Prayer XP each, but yeah, that's pretty much how much um, slaying and stuff I've done because I've gotten well past 99 just because of that. And I also got bonus prayer XP from something that was like the Day of the Dead or something like that. But anyway, yeah, this is my task at the moment. Uh, Dark Beasts are one of the best Slayer tasks in the game. I absolutely love this task. And, you know, 660 Slayer XP per Dark Beast, and they only take a few seconds to kill, so that's just insane. And I'm also at um, 93 mil defense at the moment, so I'm kind of working towards that. But uh, I guess, yeah, I have this 99 divination to get out of the way before I do anything else. And I'm only 1 million XP to do 99, tell 99 divination. So before you ask me, why are you not doing divination right now? It's because I'm recording this video, and I thought it would be a lot more interesting for me to kill these uh, than for me to be at divination and make a boring divination vlog. But anyway, I should get 99 divination in a couple days, so... Um, uh, anyway, when that happens, I'll get my Max Cape back, and everyone will be so happy. It will be a celebration. Okay, so we're about to go into the Slayer tab, but before I do that, I guess it's probably worth mentioning, I finally actually spent money on buying decent gear. So I got Torva Boots, they were like 15.9 mil, I want to say, something like that. Um, so yeah, I bought those. I also flipped some Torva Boots, so I made some money um, off of buying these, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. But anyway, uh, yes, so they do a little bit of extra damage and they have better defense, so that's going to be kind of useful um, sometimes, I guess. But yeah, I'm kind of sick of just wearing Ganondermic boots, so I got myself some Torva boots, and they're going to help a little bit with Slayer, and they're also super cheap to repair. They only cost 50k to repair, and it takes them like a long time to degrade, so... Anyway, yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought them just because Gano boots work fine, but I decided to anyway, so no longer cheapskate. I can't believe I just wasted a whole minute talking about Torva boots, but anyway, this is my Slayer tab. No, I'm just kidding, this isn't my Slayer tab. This is my Slayer tab, and as you can see, it's very, very well organized, so yeah, it took me like an hour to do this, but everything looks very pretty now. So anyway, as I said, my Slayer tab has gone up in value. Um, I have, I did get a Black Dragon's task since last time I made a video, and I did QBD, so I made like 15 mil just from that one task because I got... Um, some stuffs. I got three royal pieces, as you can see down here, and this cache is also from QBD. Um, but most, like all these royal hides and quite a few dragon bones, they're all from QBD. And like, look at all these lantadimes. I have almost 650 lantadimes. I got quite a few of those from QBD, and those are just worth absolute bank. It makes me so happy seeing those. 
And also, like, all these runes, you know, 11k deaths and 11k bloods, those are all from Slayer. That's insane. That's like a month's worth of rune crafting le the legit way. Oh, I guess I lied. I actually did get one kind of decent drop. I got Onyx Bolts. So, yeah, 150 Onyx Bolts. That's the first time I've ever gotten Onyx Bolts from Slayer. And it's weird because I talked to a friend and he's gotten this drop like five times and he's only 85 Slayer. So, yeah, I kind of get scammed with the rare drop table. All I ever get from the rare drop table are like raw swordfish and something else. Raw swordfish and I think U logs. Yeah, those are like the only thing I ever get from the rare drop table. But anyway, I'm going to price check this entire Slayer tab and tell you how much it's worth. And I guess I'll show you at the end of the video like the best drops in my inventory and we'll talk about them and be happy together. Alright, I am back, and I feel really stupid because it took me freaking forever to figure out where the items kept on death was. I kept on like going through these menus and stuff, and I was like, oh, it's in the F2 menu. And I just now, just as I clicked this button, realized that there's an items kept on death right here. So anyway, I just wanted to show off some of my more awesome drops. 100 mil right in the inventory right there. That is pretty cool. But first, by my powers of guesstimation and the awesome Google Calculator, I'm going to tell you approximately how much I made because I couldn't withdraw everything without screwing up my tab so when I click this equals button we'll find out roughly how much the t my tab is give or take a few mil it's only gonna be like a f one or two mil off it's not a big deal so here we go 198 mil holy crap holy crap but anyway yeah, since the last episode, the tab has gone up by quite a bit. So anyway, we're going to price check some of my more awesome drops. The armadillo gloves, which are going down, but the gloves subjugation are going up. The dragon hatchets, which are also going up at the moment, not by much, but um, I have 13 million worth of infernal ashes and 16 million worth of dragon bones, which makes me very happy to see. Um, also almost 8 million worth of Dagonoth bones, but I just wanted to pull some of these things out because I was curious how much they're worth individually. Holy crap. Almost 6.2 million worth of uh, Lantidimes. Almost 4 million worth of Dwarf Weeds. 3.5 million worth of U-Logs. 4.5 million almost worth of uh, Water Talismans. I'm not even sure how I got all these Lantidime seeds. I promise you I haven't bought any. But I have almost 4 million worth of just Lantidime seeds. I don't really know how I got that many. I know Zami does drop quite a few, and I've had 3 Zami tasks. 3 Zami tasks and 1 Zami drop, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit of a scam. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, like, some of these items just really add up. I was not expecting to have that much worth of blue dragon height. So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of price check a few of these items, see how much they're worth individually. So, over a million worth of rune chain bodies, that's pretty nice. But... I guess all in all, uh, I'm still going up in Slayer, so I'm almost at the 200 million Slayer tab mark, and it's only the second episode, I know, and I also have not a single drop screenshot to show you guys, because I started the series after I got every single drop, but anyway, that QBD task that I made like 15 mil just from that one task, that really helped a lot, um, and I guess just in general, like stuff like Dragon Bones and Infernal Ashes and Herbs are going up, so that helps the tab rise in value, but yeah, by the next time I make an episode of this hopefully the tab will be over 200 mil well it will be over 200 mil it, let's make the goal of getting 250 mil slayer tab by the next episode but anyway thank you guys for watching and if you think my tab looks pretty let me know or if you think i should reorganize it again and make it look better but i already spent an hour trying to organize this thing and i really need to get back to divination and stop wasting xp so farewell